Shalom, shalom, family. This is Ari and brother. Let's get straight into it. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 13, verse 1. He that touches pitch shall be defiled therewith. And he that have fellowship with a proud man shall be like unto him. So if you guys don't understand what pitch is, I'll try to help you guys out here. It's tree resin. Uh, right? So, but it's also known as pitch. And if you see it, like, if you look at the picture, it's not quite liquid and it's not quite solid. It's kind of in between. You kind of think of like honey when um, you kind of leave honey out. Like if you use honey and it's kind of like on the side of the bottle, it gets a little hard, but it's not quite solid, but it's not quite liquid. Um, so going back to the verse with pitch, right? So he that touches pitch shall be defiled therewith, right? So you think of like honey. Even though I know this is tree resin, but you think about like honey and just use as an example. If you touch honey, then, you know, your hands are going to be sticky. Then it says he that fellowships with a proud man should be likened unto him. Right. So if you were, you know, dealing with somebody that's very like high on their horse, uh, you have associations with individuals like that. You tend to take on some of their ways. Right. There's a, a saying where it says you can influence someone with your own behavior. I want you guys to, to listen to this. This is from uh, Across the Line Radio. The guy's name is Captain Tazaria. And I noticed he's been trying to, I guess, so to speak, fellowship with WAC 100. But keep in mind, Captain Tazaria is part of an organization... For, and from my understanding, for the most part, they believe a lot of principles in the Bible. Where WAC 100 is a part of organizations that deal that deals with gangs, right? Uh, Bloods, Crips, and other ethnicities who deal with gangs. So they come from two different worlds. And it's very hard. You're going to watch in this video. It's going to be very hard for Captain Tazaria not to... Um, Take on the ways of WAC 100, yelling, being emotional, being very disrespectful, uh, saying things that don't make sense. But again, you know, he's touching the pitch. Right. And it's hard for you not to be defiled. You're dealing with a proud man. So it's hard for you not to be proud. Um, it's good. You know, I want you guys to watch this and then you can see what I mean. And that's why it's very important. Um you know, as a person who is going to read the Bible and you're going to be a believer to separate yourself from unbelievers, because these are the things that's going to happen. And it's very, it's very sad. And I understand that his, I just want to say this as a disclaimer, uh, his reasoning for uh, his, speaking of uh, Captain Cesariak, his reason for fellowshipping with WAC 100 is that he can reach those people but I just, you know, from what I, what you from what you see, you can obviously see it's just not a good it's not a good thing. You fellowship with people who have like minds. Now, if they come over to you, it's different, but you don't, you know, like I'm not gonna say well, I'm gonna let you guys watch it and you can make your own observation. This is Ariana Brother, thanks for tuning in. Yo, cat, unless you I don't have no war with nobody. Listen. What y'all talking doing about inside, shit. I can't, I can't doing speak wartime on shit, anything, though. I can't speak on anything inside of a prison because I've never been in. I okay, can only Kat, speak on what well, I can only I'm glad you said that, Cap. Right. Cap, 85% of my way come from prison. It's the niggas in the prison that call the dogs and the niggas that been to prison that's on the street that carry it out. You understand what I'm telling you, bro? I do. I do. I understand exactly what you're telling me. The mentality again, is here. Corey T coming in and pull him up. Because right, even in New York, he's going to tell you what that motherfucking, what that darkness was like. When them brothers, how you think, how you think the blood even started in New York? They was on them so tough. Them niggas had to do something to identify as one. 
Okay, but with all that said, what yeah, we're talking about is. Was Muslim, our body. They look at it, you was black, you was black, and they was getting fooled. Yeah, you was getting depressed. And that's why a lot of. Is that corn? No, that's but I'm not. But I'm that's why a lot of God bodies. A lot of Muslims turned blood because of that, because the, the, the Latin kings and everybody was black, oppressive. Though. I'm all I'm all, all this conversation started because there's an issue with white people apologizing for slavery. That's no, what we're it's talking not. about. Here. No, and it's not. The ramifications of that, what could happen if some racist white man see. I'm about, I'm about to say everything you're saying. No, the I'm shit you're doing is going to, to lead, right? To lead to people at risk at, are at normal. Risk, right? Family members, normal people that ain't got nothing to do life, with it, bro. right? Normal people that ain't got nothing to do with what we teaching on the street, it's gonna put them at risk. Now, there's a flip side to all of this, because if y'all want, okay, I tell you what, we'll stop the boot kiss if y'all go out there and actively stop the gang on gang violence that make innocent people get what? killed. Let's do both at the same time. Hear let's do both at the let's do both at the same time. So if if I gotta stop if I gotta stop if I gotta stop making white people kiss our boo stop I right gotta join wait, 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 daddy we got this clothes on did he just say if we don't make them you just said it nigga making them pumping them that's not what I mean when I say the word. That's not what I mean when I say. That's not what I mean when I say the word. That's not what I mean when I say the word making. You windmilling right now. You windmilling. No, not. It's straight up because you don't want. Because here, here's what don't want to happen. You don't want to do the alternative. I don't have a problem never doing another boot kiss, but y'all got to join me. To make sure that the gang on gang violence stops so that the innocent people don't get harmed. Because one thing we do know, innocent kids and women get killed in gang violence. So if I got to stop what I'm doing that y'all say could put them, how, if y'all saying I got to stop doing that to white people to stop the innocents, then y'all got to help me stop with the gang violence so that those innocents stop getting killed. Let's do both at the same time. How about that? Because we know that that's happening. We know that innocent men, women, and children. Yes, they do. Because you saying this is war. You saying I don't know about war. You saying I don't know about the prison war. So let's stop that because you know what the hell is we stop do with the other. If we stop that, black people will live again. What I'm telling you, black people will live again. Hebrew Israelite is not strong enough to hold the front if they get out on our people, bro. Once again, so now let's say if the Israelites ain't strong enough to hold the front, let's say that. What y'all no, should not, do is not. the skill that y'all got to war with each other this? that's harming innocent. Yo, let's this, take Pat? that skill and train each other hey. up so we ain't got to harm each other. Let's do how both. About this? Mm. It's always different when you try to make brothers come together, huh? Aria, no brother. Thanks for watching. Shalom.